The TOS-1A, also called Heavy Flame Thrower by the Russians, is an armored multiple launch rocket system that can launch rockets with a thermobaric warhead. It was already used by the Russian army in its combat operations in Afghanistan and Chechnya, and now in Ukraine. A thermobaric bomb, also called a vacuum or aerosol bomb, or fuel air explosive, consists of a fuel container with two separate explosive charges. It can be launched as a rocket or dropped as a bomb from an aircraft. When it hits target, the first explosive charge opens the container and widely scatters fuel mixture as a cloud that can penetrate any building openings or defense that are not totally sealed. A second charge then detonates the cloud, resulting in a huge, very high temperature fireball, a massive blast wave and a vacuum which sucks all surrounding oxygen. The armament of the TOS-1A heavy flame tower consists of a block launcher with 24 guide pipes for unguided missiles. The rockets of the Toswani are used to clear out buildings, field fortifications and bunkers within a firing range from 400 to 6,000 meters. The Toswani launches a single rocket or a pair of two rockets within half a second. The full salvo duration is 12 seconds when launching the rockets manually or 6 seconds when launching all the rockets in automatic mode. The TOS-1A is based on a T-72 main battle tank chassis without a turret. It has a crew of three. The vehicle weighs 46 and a half tons. It can reach a maximum road speed of 60 km per hour with a maximum cruising range of 550 km without additional fuel tanks. Moreover, the transloader vehicle also has the same running gear, is very protected and boasts extraordinary cross-country performance. Here, the original turret has been replaced by two racks, each of 12 rockets. The racks sit under armored covers while in transit, and they are removed using a hydraulically operated crane positioned between the racks. The crane has a maximum lifting capacity of 1000 kgs and is operated by remote control. But why would the system need such a serious protection? Because it operates in a dangerous proximity to the front line. This fence-addressed car is a command post vehicle. It does reconnaissance, calculates data, collects meteorological information, provides target designation to launchers, assesses results, and reports to the high commander. The crew is three – commander, senior officer, and a drone operator. While we are moving to a firing position, I'll tell you more about the system. The TOS-1A is attached to mechanized infantry or tank units, or can even operate independently. They are the only systems as powerful and efficient as MLRS that are employed in close contact with the enemy. The loading process looks quite simple and intuitive. It takes roughly half an hour for experienced crews to place all 24 rockets into launching tubes. The rocket weight is 217 kgs, but it can be handled with ease using special manipulated crane of the transloader vehicle. After placing the rocket onto a kind of guiding rail, one screws up the fuse and the rocket further slides into the tube till it locks. The rocket's propellant part is at the rear with four wraparound fins, and the thermobaric warhead is in the front. It is activated by a nose-mounted impact fuse connected to the bursting charge that runs through the warhead. The TOS-1A can deliver direct and indirect fire. It fires single rockets, pairs and salvo. The full salvo of pad launchers is only six seconds, but it is enough to show all the might of the weapon. The 220mm thermobaric rockets used are extremely powerful and cover a huge area. The full salvo hits an area of 40,000 square meters. Having seen the blast for myself, I can compare the effect to a detonation of natural gas.